I went on a very deep journey with myself in my late 20s, early up until my early 30s, where it was this sort of like, I call it kind of like the death of the soul that I was. Um, I felt that I sort of went through this like decomposing process that was very, very painful for me. Um, but when I finally stopped, as I call it, bouncing on rock bottom with that, I came out in this space where I felt like I was in the most expansive space I'd ever been in in my life, the most peaceful space I'd ever been in in my life. And in that space, I watched my soul get kind of reborn within me. So I watched like what it looked like to me from my sort of mind's eye was that this new light grid was installed within my body. And so what that sort of taught me was that our souls are sort of like the intermediary world between nothingness and somethingness. And it's when this light, you know, we kind of have this world of nothingness that turns into essence, that turns into light, that turns into energy. And as it's going from something to, you know, to be presented in human form as we are, the first step is this sort of dynamic light grid that gets created that each person's is wildly unique. No one person's soul is the same. And it's obviously all from the same source of light. And yet it expresses totally differently in each person. And so watching this light grid come into full dynamic expression within myself, I started to learn like, oh, this is our soul, you know? And And then there's sort of this personification of that that comes out of that, you know, sort of like the best human expression of that light grid, which everybody also has. And so, yeah, when I tune into people, I tend to go to that light grid because within a lot of us, it's been sort of dampened or um, hidden or, you know, like put into little boxes in in dark corners. You know, (laughs) we don't want to let it out. (laughs) all the way. 